Hi, this is Grow Your Food. Um, I'm, uh, I haven't made a video in a long time, and uh, the weather's been brutal here. Not like the rest of the U.S. I, I, I pray for the rest of the, those tornado victims. It's terrible. Anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about this U-Bar Bradford Fork thing. Um, I built one. I kind of took it, uh, a kind of a design out of this book here that I bought a long time ago. In the back there's a couple of Stanford University students that had uh, uh, design here. And this is what there is is a U-bar. This is kind of a modified one, but the dimensions on the, the bars are about all the same. This here weighs 29 pounds, which is, it feels kind of heavy, but does it work nice? I've tested it quite a bit, and I really like it. It's great for double digging beds. The tines, there's seven. This is a seven tine. You can make a five tine too. Uh, now the seven tine is 29 inches total length on this, this bar right here. This bar, this tube stock, inch and a half by inch and a half by eighth inch is 29 inches. If you were going to make a, a five tine, you would have this bar be 21 inches long. Okay. Now there's some things here with this bar. You see, I what I did was you make sure it's square, and then on the ends, your first tine will be two and a half inches in to center. Your next tine will be four inches. Your next tine four inches. You just keep going with four inches till you get to the end, and then the end one will be another two and a half inches to the end to center. And what you do is you use a half inch drill bit. You start out with a pilot bit and you square it up on both sides and you drill both ways so you have a square hole. Otherwise, if you drill from one direction, your hole won't be square. If you have a drill press, you could do it. Uh, but I'm using minimum tools. I just used a hacksaw and a welder to build this thing. Uh, and, a, and a drill motor, a cordless drill motor. Uh, so you drill this in a half inch both ways. This tine is half inch mild steel. This tine right here. And it's 19 inches long. And what you do is you slide this tine into that hole that you drilled, each one. You drill all the way through to the other side and you butt weld it right here on the, on the side here. You can see the butt weld and it goes on through. Then you weld it on this side. So you do that to all of them, make sure they kind of, you might have to square it and grind it a little bit to square the tips. So these tips are all square going down because it's really hard if you don't have a, if you have a drill press, this makes this a lot easier. But anyway, and then I sharpen the tine ends. Okay, the other thing about these, this is just mild steel. So to make this strong, you have to put a gusset in. And this gusset is, I made it out a quarter inch. You can make it out of eighth inch by one inch by 16 inch long. Or I made this out of quarter inch by one inch by 16 inch. Each one of these is 16 inches long, which is welded to the half inch stock all along the deal. And I left it, you see I left the tip right there. It's just 16 inches. So it all along the whole thing. So you need four foot of those and you need four foot of uh, three four footers that's how, how you buy them you buy three four foot of the half inch round stock and four uh, three four footers of the half inch uh, the the quarter inch by one inch and that'll do it for you you can make them that way okay now the other thing I did here if you can see after you get that part done I put a couple of gussets in just for the to keep the the tines from moving back and forth the other direction and when you do both ends like that it, it strengthens it so if one doesn't work then the rest of them won't do the same thing so it strengthens it. Now the other things I did you got to consider here I'll go to the side you can see the angle from the front of the tines that's 15 degrees is pointing up and the reason for that when you stick that in the ground your handles are forward of you so when you pull, it's just easier to pull. It's, it's a mechanical thing for your body. It's just easier to work. So they're 15 degrees. And what I used here uh, was three quarter inch pipe. And they're, they're, I think they're around four foot long. 
and then I put a and then they tell you to put a gusset in just a short little gusset right here to strengthen your handles now you could make these handles you could weld tube stock up and put some uh, fence post uh, handles wood handles fence from po fence post diggers you could put on there and it would lighten it up a little bit I've made this thing strong the last a hundred years uh, with these pipes it, it, it's an awesome tool what I like about it is I weed if I have quack grass in the ground I can double dig and lift this up and I can pick all the quack grass right out of the ground I mean it works slick I mean you go in the ground I mean if you got to have semi loose soil already to do this but uh, uh, it, 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 it works great for beds I'm impressed uh, the only else other thing I need to do is paint this thing I'm gonna paint it this summer when it dries out a little bit uh, but uh, I can't think anything else to tell you about it the main thing is to make sure you sharpen these tips so it goes in the ground easy you got to set down on it pretty hard with your foot but it's just easy to work you can you can just aerate the ground without even uh, plowing it you just stick it in the ground and move it back a little bit and just lifts the ground and it, were, it really works good. Well, that's it. I'll see you later. I'm going to make another video here probably in the, today sometime. I'll see you. Bye.